and I will begin to deal with that pressure that he or she like. And the person now is in the Holy Ghost. He just wants to belong to the church. We have to come next Sunday. We have to come next Sunday. And if that is not coming, then that pastor needs to be good to say, God, you did not call me. And I'm knowing to the pastor, it is the truth to stand for that is pursuing that person. Truth, pursue people out of the church. Truth, make people to come to church. Truth, pursue people. So if you are not careful, because truth you are preaching, pursue people, you will think, ah ah, that's not God wants to raise that church. Until you start for that truth. When the time comes, for those that God has sent for you, they will come there stay. Because if those people remain there, they can even make you to fall. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. So this holiness, everywhere, that everybody, especially the latest one now, it is sisters. Sisters, sisters, sisters. I don't know why God Men don't see if you should start saying. Have you been on the dream? Have you been on the sleep? Men on the sleep? Men, we are on the sleep. Praise the living God. So, church, let me give. Jesus is one. One spirit. One baptism. One was one love. If you see a sister who are dwelling in sin, be with that sister. After all, you might send to go and prove that you are a Christian for that sister, for that brother to repent. That is why if you pray for yourself, that God should give you grace to maintain holiness and righteousness. You know why they should do that? Because Pharisees and Sadducees look at what Christ told them. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 22. Matthew 22. 23. Sorry, 23. 23. But before 23, let's read the end part of 22. Matthew 22. Starting from verse 41. 41. Twenty-two, forty-one. Are you there? Yes, sir. Read the word of Jesus Christ today. Forty-one said, Why the Pharisees were gathered together? Jesus asked them. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus asked them, say, 42, what did ye of me? Sorry, let's start from 23. I love the story of Jesus Christ. Okay, 23, sorry. Matthew 23, 22, 23. Chapter 22, verse 23. Are you there? Matthew chapter 22, verse 23. Try to say amen. Amen. The same day came to him, the Sadducees. We say that there is no. You are not following. There is no resurrection. And ask him, those Pharisees and Sadducees, Sadducees don't believe there is a resurrection. Okay? There is many doctrines everywhere, church. Many doctrines. Many believe. And they ask Jesus. 24 saying, Master, Moses said, if a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up sin upon his brother. When you were growing up, do you know what, what will happen those days in our villages, in our home? Do you know it was from the Bible? Do you know? No. Ask me. When somebody will die, say, let the brother marry the wife. Yes. With she will say it's traditional. But it was it was the law. As Moses said in the Old Testament. 
Do you see that? It was the Lord. So they were asking Jesus. Potiphar. Now, they were with us. Seven brethren. Did they have seven brothers? And the first, when he had married a wife, disease, which is, he died. And having no issue. Before he died, before he died, he doesn't have any child. Left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also. With the second brother not married, they are seven brothers. See no one married, he died with a child. The second one married the wife. The same thing they talk unto the second. The what? A, a tomb of family. And last of all, the woman died also. Do you, do you understand? That they have seven brothers. One married a wife. And the, the man died without a child. According to the law, this, the, the other brother, the, 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 the younger brother needs to marry the wife. The younger brother married the wife. The brother also died. The woman did not die at that time. The woman killed all the seven men in the family. <laughs> and yes, the woman killed the seven men in the family. The first one to kill her, he died. The second one, the mother, you, you not die. This is the man die. The woman they kill all men. The third one married the woman. You not die. The, the other one died. <laughs> the fourth one married the woman. The woman not die. The fourth one died. The fifth one married the woman. The woman not die. The fifth one died. <laughs> ah. Pastor, what are you saying? Listen. This is my married woman. The woman did not die. The seventh one married the woman. After the seventh one, the old generation, a man gave birth to die. You will not say, uh, the demon will not say, uh, I have succeeded in this family. Praise the living God. Church, are we following? Please listen to me. They are Jesus Christ question. It is the law of Moses they are asking. That is, he said it happened to them. After the woman had killed the seven men, we people are surprised. The pastor why say it's a woman. And then happy now. After the women considered killing the just seven generation, you just finished it. You will not disappear. You will not die. After the said, did the last man die? Before you die, you must not die. <laughs> that man must not die. Praise the living God. Church, praise the living God. The shocking women, I mean. Okay. Then they ask Jesus Christ question. This woman just wiped out the whole generation. The ancestral cause that follow her. The mommy wanted to follow her, wipe the direction of this family, and they bring this question to Jesus Christ. I will surprise you how some people receive deliverance. Uh. Then Christ answered them. What in all what they were thinking, they were still thinking about that woman, evil men. In fact, their hearts are corrupt already. Which part are we? Oh, this farm. The farm of God. Praise the living God. 28. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? Do you hear that? We are not fear cry for the father of the man. You are still asking if there is heaven, who will marry the wife? What is in that woman that if we have if you want to marry the woman here? <laughs> who will marry the wife? For the for the all oh, had her, which is the get married to her. Jesus answered and said unto them. Ye do eh? not doing the scriptures and like the answer Christ gave to them. No, the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marry, but are as the angels of God in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. So you that ask me. Which nature will go to have in heaven here today? I hope everybody is listening to me. I see some of you are making noise. Some of you that ask me questions, you are talking now when I am preaching. If you die here, heaven forget. Even your children forget. Whether you have husband, forget. 
Elle est sage pour la taille. Son dame, moi, la grand dame. Ils sont forcés à toi. She's not that. She's going to heaven. And when she reaches, she's going to have angelic body. Our body, a man of God, is for what? Reproach. So she can talk to, 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 to give that. Once you enter heaven, forget your, uh, your genital. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. But when those people could not deliver this family, when you read quickly, Numbers chapter 25. Numbers 25. Look at deliverance in that place. Is it number? The two number. The two number 25. Sorry, the two number 25. They told your enemy 25. Verse 5. Are we there? If you are let's say amen. Look at the story told for the they asked Jesus. Two brethren dwell together. And one of them died. And have no child. Church, are we all there? Please let me tell you. Let me hold on, Pastor. I want everyone of us to be here. The true Roman chapter 25. If I let's say amen. Verse 5 again. If brethren dwell together and one of them die and have no child, the wife of the dead shall not marry without unto a what? The The question they were asking just now, okay? The stranger. Her husband's brother shall go in unto her and take her to him to what? Okay. And perform the duty of her hus husband's brother unto her. And it shall be that the firstborn which she beareth shall succeed in the name of his brother, which is dead. That is, that his name be not put out of his way. So the firstborn that brother will give birth to, he will bear the name of the dead brother. But after this, after from the second time, that man will be buried, he saw will bury his name. Now, and if the man like not to take his father, his brother's wife, list it now, and let his brother's wife go up to the gates unto the enters and say, My husband's brother refuses to, to raise up unto his brother a name of Israel, which is we understand this verse. Do you understand? Okay. He will not perform the duty of of my husband's brother. This is the wife talking now. Hey, Edgar, 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 I lost my husband. My brother's husband did not want to perform the duty of my late husband. The woman are crying now. Go to the elder. You need to perform the duty. You need to do it. You need to perform the duty. That is what he say here. You must have the right to cry to the elders. Then the elders of the city shall come and speak unto him. And if he stand 